Welcome to challenge number 60. Let's see what it says. What has God been speaking to you about lately? Why? And what have you been doing about it? Write in your notebook. Well, we will be writing our notebook. What is it that God has been speaking with us? Uh, God speaks in different ways. He speaks direct to us in our mind. He speaks through the past. He speaks through his word and speaks as well through problems. God allows a problem because he wants you to pay attention to something that needs to be resolved within you. So you will be writing, what is it that God has been speaking to you lately? Pay attention to listen to him, but not only to listen to him, but to understand why he is speaking about that to you. Is it a behavior that you're always having, a reaction that you always have, and that has not been a good testimony, that has not portrayed the person that you say you are? Is anything to do with the way you treat others, the way you speak to others, the way you see others? I don't know, but you will be paying attention to what God has been talking to you lately. Write it down and not only to write down what he has been speaking to you lately, but as well, what have you been doing about it? Many people, they even know what they have to change, what they have to do, what God has been telling them and why God is telling them that, but they fail when it is to do something about it. When we stop to put in practice what God wants, it's because there is a lack of fear. Because when God speaks, his voice is not like my voice, your voice. No, his voice is powerful. His voice makes us tremble. So if that's not happened to you, then see if you have been fearing God or not. All right? So what are you doing about what God is speaking to you? If it's a behavior, are you changing that behavior? Are you surrendering that behavior to God? Are you changing the way you do things in order to attend what God is telling you, to practice what he's telling you? So pay attention to yourself again. Pay attention to your reactions. So do your prayer. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you, and then you will go through it. What is it that is talking to you lately? Why is God talking to you about that? And what are you doing in order to change that? All right? Be sincere, and I'm sure the Holy Spirit will guide you through the way. May God bless you, and I'll see you next challenge. Bye-bye.